We're taking a look at the area where the shooting took place. Now, the former president was speaking here. There were some law enforcement snipers on this roof and this building over here. That's where the gunman was. Denny Schlinwein says this was the tallest. It's actually one of the few buildings in the area, and that should have immediately been recognized as the site of a potential threat. Take a look at what happened. Oh. Seeing the shooting at Saturday's Trump rally hits hard for <laughs> Denny Schlindwein. Today, I get cold chills. I, I think, oh, I, I, I get, start, my adrenaline really starts going. He knows so what I it's like to protect time. former presidents and presidential candidates. He served in the Secret out, Service from 1976 to 2001 and worked similar political uh, rallies. He says this shooting shouldn't have happened. But I immediately knew the problem had to arise with the person that did the advance work. The Secret Service goes to sites like this ahead of an event to evaluate potential risks. And he says the building should have been identified and secured. But I think because of the highest place at that, at that site was the place where the shooter was. It had been an ideal place for the counter-assault team. They should have been on that building. I don't know what would happen if that guy would have tried to crawl up there when they were there. As for the Secret Service detail who rushed toward former President Trump after he was hurt, Schlindwein says they did their jobs the way they're trained. They waited long enough and they surrounded him the way they needed to surround him that an agent wouldn't have been hit before he would have been hit. Some people are saying sure, sure. they shouldn't have allowed him to put his fist up. They should have covered him first. No, can't stop him. You can't, can't, you can't wrap your arms around him. You, you just can't do it. He expects this assassination attempt will lead to changes. They have learned from this, but I don't think they should have had to learn from it. He says questions need to be answered and concerns addressed, but he believes these Secret Service agents would have given their lives to protect the former president. And by George, you take the round. And I don't know an agent in the world that wouldn't do that. And Schlinwein tells me he's not sure why the agent, the counter assault agent stationed here did not see the shooter on this roof before he started shooting. He says, though, if anyone from the Secret Service was aware that someone was on a roof, they would have immediately gotten the former president to the ground. Angela and Rod. Well, Maggie, we've heard some comments that this building where the shooter was is outside the security perimeter. What were you told about this? Well, Schlinwein takes issue with that. He says, in his opinion, there is no outside the perimeter when it comes to safety. As the tallest building in the area, it should have been seen as an obvious risk. All right. Good insight there, Maggie. Thank you. There are new questions tonight about the safety of people walking across a very busy intersection in Fayetteville. It comes after several McDonald's employees were killed over the last few months while walking to or from work. CBS 17's Justin Moore is digging deeper. All new at six.